please welcome Ewan McGregor, everybody. Angels and Demons, were you a fan of the book? I was a fan of the book. I loved it. And I, my character in this is very important. What were the major changes between the book, would you say, and the screenplay? Well, I hated it when they changed the Italian priest to the Irish priest, because I liked to bear when he was Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my dear. Hello, love. How are you? You know, I'm feeling a bit vulnerable tonight. Are you? Yeah. The audience is hostile. No. <laughs> They look lovely and friendly. Well, no, no. That, that one's a bit hostile. No, no, no. <laughs> no they, they have that look about them. They, they look... They, do you ever see that movie, Children of the Damned? <laughs> but they all look kind of... Ah, but they... Would yeah. you ever do one of those evil children movies? You could, you know, you could dress up and put shoes on your knees. <laughs> yeah. You'd be good at that. You could be yeah. the, the head evil child. Yeah. I, I, never, th I never got offered one, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's time to the day when you, I you do. Know, there's, 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 still, there's a whole career ahead of me, hopefully, of playing, playing evil children. Evil children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That would yeah. be good. How about the Angels and Demons? Then? Is it good? Tom Hanks, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like to work with Tom Hanks? <laughs> yeah, I was all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like his, his his back to regular hair in this movie. That's right. a very good sign because. Yeah. There, were, there, there, there was a lot of, um, people didn't like the first hair, did they? And the well, it, it wasn't, yes, no, no one liked it. No one liked yeah, it. No, yeah. <laughs> he's happy what... to be back. He's great. He, he, he is lovely to work with. Yeah, he is man, a really lovely man. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. funny and, and easy going. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then. Go on uh, then. So, are you, uh, are you, you play an Irishman in this? Oh, are you having a drink? I'll have a drink as well. Patrick McKenna. Patrick McKenna, yes. Yeah, yeah I'm having the, a drink too, eh? Yeah, Enjoy yeah. your little tiny cup there, Cheers. pal. <laughs> oh, that's refreshing. Oh, yeah, nice, eh? Yeah. Mm. Patrick McKenna, I play an, an Italian priest. All right, yeah. 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 McKenna, that's an Patrick Italian name there. Patrick McKenna. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you a fan of the Marx Brothers? <laughs> no. I, I liked Laurel and Hardy. And, I liked uh, Laurel and Hardy. That, that was uh, that was more who I was a fan of. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. <laughs> don't don't get them. To, no, 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 no. I've no, encouraged. No. I've no, encouraged no, them. You no, know, you don't want to do that. Yes. Yeah. How are you? Do how are you doing with the move to LA? Have you become very LA? Have you joined a weird religious sect? Are you doing a lot of Pilates? What's going yoga on? Yoga and therapy, really. Yeah, what? Yeah. That's the way forward. Yoga, moisturized therapy, and a vegan diet. You'll live forever. That's right. No, I'm really enjoying it, except I've hardly been here. I, I, I've been working... Since I moved to LA last summer, I've mainly worked in Europe. And um, we, moved, we moved over here. My family, my girls, and my, my wife are here. And I've mainly been working back over there. So, it's so did you do that on purpose to get away from your family? <laughs> no, it's just the way it's gone. Uh, but, um, I'm how are you doing now. with your pilot's license? Are you? Are you I got getting... halfway. I got halfway through it. I think round about halfway. I didn't go solo yet because I never quite got to that point. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not good, is it? No, no, it, it's it's you. You don't want to get there too early. No, that's not. <laughs> So no, I, didn't, no. I didn't get to that point, and then I got, a t I got, a, I went off to do a job, and which led straight into another job. It's very difficult to what, get the time. What I, worries I, me about it is that if I get the, if I get the license, uh, what happens if I'm always going to wait? I'm not allowed to fly when I'm making a movie, right. so I'm going to be like an inconsistent pilot. Yes. And is that a good idea? It's good to know. Uh, <laughs> for example, if you say to me, "I haven't flown in six months. Do you want to come flying with me?" I'd be like, "As long as I fly the plane, right, we're good." Right, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Well, how, where are you at? You, you well, know? I'm actually, I have the same problem, because I actually, I was working and I was doing stand-up, and, and so I've cancelled all the stand-up. And so I've, I've soloed, and I've done the solo cross-country flights and oh, stuff, wow. and I've got the check ride in a couple of weeks. How was it, the solo cross-country? You learn a little bit about yourself when you, you go out. Yeah. <laughs> I did the first, because I did the first cross country with my instructor, right. and I, we went through all the preparation, and I loved it. I thought, oh, I can do this, it's and I'm great, working yeah. out, and the wind, things, and, and then suddenly you're up there, and, and, the, and you can't, I, my mind couldn't keep up with all the things I had to do. Couldn't keep up with the plane, you've got to stay ahead of the plane, that's right. the day, stay ahead going, of the plane. Well, well uh, you know, it's four minutes, is the first one, like, how long has it been? I'm like, oh, I, I don't know, oh, uh, I don't yeah. know. And you look up, and the plane's like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. 
I don't know. I couldn't work it out. No, it's and that, I, but that's why you inside, have to. There's a learning curve involved. Yeah. You don't just get in and do it. I, st I wanted to cry like a small boy. Oh, the, <laughs> listen. I I flew across. I flew across that. I flew across these over there. Over there. Yeah. Over to Bakersfield, in fact. That's right. my first cross-country flight. I went over from Van Nuys over to Bakersfield. Right. I went over the San Gabriel Mountains, and the engine quit. On your first solo? Yeah. On your solo cross-country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened then? Well, I made it up, but, uh, you know... I, <laughs> but if it had happened, that, that, like, if that was true... That would be If terrifying. that was true, you'd be like, Oh, my God, Craig, how I did know. you get out of that? I'd be like, mind power. <laughs> <laughs> Just before I hit the ground, I jumped out. No, no, <laughs> like, oh like Bugs Bunny in the cartoon when the things, that, and then he jumps out just before the. Just, bef just step off before it hits yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah. 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 My my instructor had been in a plane crash just about two weeks before we went over emergency procedures. Yeah, you don't want that. And he went. It's funny I'm teaching you the emergency procedures this morning because I had an emergency, and he showed me a picture of a crashed aeroplane. <laughs> That he'd stepped out of two weeks beforehand, and they, he'd been t teaching someone, and the the throttle cable had just come up, come detached from the throttle. You freak me out now. Yeah. I don't want to go flying. Yeah. Yeah. And he went, it, they crash landed into a field, and just he, everything was going right, and just before he got into the field, they caught the wheels, and the plane went like this and like this, oh. and landed on its roof. But they were all right. They both roof away. The uh, plane's roof. The roof. <laughs> you're not that far along, and you're learning about <laughs> planes, are you? <laughs> What part of the plane is it? Well, that's the roof. Which one would you call it? <laughs> the top of it. Uh, the, that would be the... the top of the canopy. Yeah, yeah. It's the canopy. Uh, <laughs> it's the land of A plane can have a roof. A plane... Well, some planes have roofs, of course. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> it's America now, buddy. The no roofs over here. Yeah. Two roofs, we have uh, hats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. What's that all about? Uh, this? Small penis compensation. <laughs> Smoking his big, big mug. Yeah, that's what they say. No, I, because I'm, I'm deeply insecure about my genitalia, I have a giant, a giant mug <laughs> to distract people from looking. Can you milk it? <laughs> Here, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, the snake! The snake! Oh, I thought you... I thought no, you oh, the snake. I thought you meant some... <laughs> you can milk snakes. You can milk snakes. Yeah, in fact, you have to put on a little milkmaid uniform. That's the law. <laughs> Do you have a little milkmaid uniform? Well, I, not with me, but I obviously have one at home. And my three-legged stool. <laughs> you want to see a doctor about that. To milk your snake. <laughs> Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been back to Scotland much? I was back there in Easter with my uh, uh, on my own. <laughs> on your own? <laughs> well, that, oh. that's nice. I went back to. Eat. Well, there was nobody there. No one was there. Yeah. Well, a lot of them go away for Easter, <laughs> don't they? Eh? That's the great thing about Scotland. It's empty. No, I went back and um, I went back and and uh, spent some time with my f my mum and dad oh, and my nice. brother and we went riding motorcycles. And stuff. Oh yes, no, you got you got the motorcycle things. Are you, have you been riding? A, you always like to go very dangerous places on your motorcycle, don't you? Oh, far far uh, out of the way places. I what like about Iceland? Have you done that yet? No. You, you want to do that? I do. I do yeah. want to do that. I I I think Iceland is spectacular for motorcycle riding. Right. I've never been there. But you just have a feeling about well, it. Well, you know what? I like that band, Sigur Ross. Do you like that band? I've never heard of them. Oh, they're fantastic. They're from Iceland and they do a lot of... <laughs> it's like Enya, but good. But good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Enya, but with a bit of street cred. Yeah, yeah. A little Enya with tattoos and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Big yeah, boots. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good. big boots. So anyway, the movie's coming. It's going to be huge. Yes, it should, yeah. be, it should be good. I liked it. I saw it uh, two weekends ago in Rome uh, when we had the premiere. Mm. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, oh, were well, you on a little scooter? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Well, that's I hadn't seen it before the premiere, you know, and it's always did all this press and I never had a chance to see it. But, but did you see it in the press? The, oh, this is the best. No, movie I sat down and watched it. I went, oh dear, I've been I haven't been talking about the right film at all. <laughs> no, no, it was good. It was good laugh. It was good. Yeah. Well, at least it won't have Jar Jar Binks in it. That's a plus. <laughs> Poor old Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, he got an awful bad press, didn't he, from that? Well, come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fair play and everything. It's a great, you know, franchise, Star Wars, blah, blah, the genius of George Lucas, but Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> They're really trying to get me to stop talking to you now. Are they? Are they like this? The guy over there doing all that. Over there.
<laughs> what, what haven't we covered, though? I think we've kind of put everything to bed, haven't we? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Are you interested in American commercials? <laughs> have you got one on offer? <laughs> Take a look at this, you. Oh, let's have a look.